20 years ago, I was a janitor at Bi State driving the, the floor scrubbers in the garage. If they need contractors, minority contractors, I made money for other guys, why not do it for myself, you know, because they're saying that there's a need for that. So the, the next logical step then became go take some business classes because I knew about being a good carpenter, but like I said, I'd never run a business. So the next logical step became to go take some business class, write a business plan, and, and, and start my company. I've watched more guys go into business and then out of business, and it usually doesn't take too long and it's unfortunate. He went to school, he took night classes, he continued to work. He, he came to union meetings and understood who, you know, who he could trust to come out on the job and, and help him out uh, when that day came. And uh, Sled Rock, a successful company, I'm very proud of him, very proud of him. Or oh, I'd go into them if I didn't have a job and say, hey, I'm starving, you know, help me. So the first big job I ever got was actually a referral from Al Bond to go do the Love's Travel Stop on North Broadway. That was the first big job my company ever got, you know, and it was it came directly from the carpenters. He's off to a, to a good start. Uh, he's doing what he, what he dreamed of, and we're here to support all of our contractors. We're here to support Cordell. He's a success story, and it just delights the hell out of me. You know, it's those relationships, and you know, I mean, it, it has really transformed my life. Like I say, from janitor to a, to a business owner. <laughs>